Adair Manor was just a remarkable, remarkable race horse. She won three grade one races. She won eight graded stakes races, which is the highest number of graded stakes wins by any of the offspring of my Uncle Mo. The thing about Adair Manor is her temperament. She's just sweet, loving, kind, goes in the paddock, never turns a hair, just so professional. She's got this beautiful top line frame, beautiful neck, shoulder. We knew that if we, the older she got, she was just gonna become this big, beautiful, picturesque mare that she is now. Her best trait is her stride. She's got an enormous stride and smooth. And matter of fact, a lot of the riders felt that she probably could have run on grass. And you can just tell the way she's, when she's moving along, her horses that are chasing her, they just give up because they just can't keep up with her once she gets in that long moving stride. And she's quick, she's very light on her feet for a big mare. Adair Manor earned over $2 million and is the highest earning daughter of Uncle Mo. Another significant accomplishment and demonstrates the quality of the horse that she was. Uncle Mo is emerging as a tremendous broodmare sire. He's the broodmare sire of our 2024 heroine, uh, Thorpedo Anna. He's the broodmare sire of Muth, and he's the broodmare sire of Go Rocket Ride. I think her last race was really impressive because uh, it was a tough race. You know, she was in there with some nice fillies, and you know, she'd won most of her races on the lead. And turning for home, it looked like, well, maybe she's not gonna do it. And then all of a sudden, she just tipped her out and she got into that big lung and just motored him down. Ground with every stride, a damn manner, Salah, a damn manner has got her. And a damn manner and Juan Hernandez will take the Clementel Hirsch. And we've had the privilege and honestly the honor of, of selling some wonderful horses for Michael Lunn. Uh, first one was Gamine, who was, you know, near and dear to all of our hearts, being a, a phase two the Mid-Atlantic graduate. He gave us the opportunity to sell Faza, and she was another grade one winner. We feel very fortunate this year to have the honor to, to do it again with Adair Manor, and she's, uh, you know, fits in the same quality of, of, of those other types of horses that, that he sold with us. Adair Manor possesses some of the, you know, most influential stallions and influential names in the breeding stud book. Uncle Mo, Giants Causeway, grade one performer, superb physical. She's the complete package and offers an unlimited opportunity, and unlimited potential to whoever happens to buy her. She's always been one of Bob's favorites. She's been a big part of their program for a while, and I know that he's disappointed he didn't get a chance to run in a Breeders' Cup, but, but it doesn't diminish her accomplishments in any way, shape, or form. And when you have them that long, you actually get emotionally attached to them because she's such a sweetheart. You know, you just call her name and she knows she's gonna get her carrots. We're gonna really miss her. When you have these superstars in your barn, you just love seeing them in the mornings.